Jerry King. I'm the fifth generation born in America. Maybe lost less than one percent. Fifth generation. And I'm looking for a lady, a girlfriend. Look for a girlfriend. You're in. Uh -huh. I was being born while you were while you were saving us. So thank you. My mom was safe. Thank you for your service, sir. You got a car? Can Legion. We, we, we belong to that. Okay. We're going to have lunch. I would love that, really? Yeah. I would love to do that. I can, we, you have to be in the Legion. Uh, I, I would love I'd to. I'd love to take you, but. I'll pick you up. Do you, okay. Do you drive? No, no, he does. He does. Harry Cohen and. King. King, Harry sorry. King. And Murray. COD man. Are you from the marina? I used to be in the marina for years. Yeah. Are you friends with Joe Vento? Yes. That's where I met you before. Uh, Jerry, you were in World War II or Korea? No, no. World War II and the ETO, European Theater. Were you in any of the invasions? Yes. Which? I Let me put it this way. I landed in 1943 in Egypt. In Egypt? I came when North Africa, Sicily, Italy, France, England, Germany, and Austria. Were you with Patton? No, no. Huh? My uh, general was Mark Clark. And what were you doing with, with the Army? Air Corps. Army Air Corps? Army Air Corps. I was a crew chief mechanic in C-47s and gliders. Did they use gliders to land quietly? Oh yeah, they landed D plus two on Normandy in World War II, in the water. You landed a glider in the water? That's right. With uh, troops? Pardon? Did you bring troops? Were you, what were you carrying in the glider? Oh, we were carrying a trailer and eight paratroopers. Everybody survived? Except my pilot. What happened? He drowned. Couldn't get out. He was dressed like Pancho Villa. Bullets, bullets, sidearms. The weight carried him in. I couldn't save him. Did you land in a place where you could see the casualties from the day before? I won't answer that. Uh, Murray, what did you do in the Army? Flew B-17 Flying Fortress. You were an Air Force pilot? I was an engineer gunner, did 33 missions. You were a gunner? Yes. Did you sit in a gun turret? Top turret. You don't look at him now. The way he was, he was two-thirds less. How cold did it get in that turret? 50 below zero, 23, 24,000 feet. Was that a job that you could stay in for a, for a while? How long would you be in that turret? Ten hours. Get your phone number down. A lot of guys lost their fingers and toes. Frostbite? Not you? I was too stubborn. He had his love to keep him warm. I said, what do you think the, the, the need for maintaining a strong military in the face of, of, of threats <clears throat> today? The stronger the better. Yeah, here, here. What blood is here? No, what was it like for you being here? What kind of an experience are you having? You know, I can sum it up to be with those men that are lying out there. To remember. Always. Are you interested, by the way, are you planning on uh, a, a military uh, funeral for yourselves? Uh, well, when any veteran dies, he's entitled to a, mu a military burial. Uh, I'm glad you asked me that. When I'm called upon, I give military eulogies. You give military eulogies yes. at, at funerals for strangers? F for any veteran. And where do you go? Any, wherever they, the, uh, well, mostly in the, the L.A. area, but in the L.A. County. Cemeteries? Yes. Graveside? No, well, yes. And is that something that the uh, Army contracts you to do, or who? No, I do it if, when they call me, the, the regular military uh, doesn't perform, 
which they do have, the state provides and the federal government, when they are not available because they're so busy, I do get calls and I give a military eulogy. I fold the flag and make the presentation of the flag. Do you remember the military to be uh, particularly anti-Semitic to you when you served? Yes. You give it. Give I didn't an realize it, but yes. How do you mean? Well, I was a uh, buck sergeant. I got busted. It's true. I went. Uh, I recall the incident, but uh, I was uh, when I landed in Suez in 1943. In those days, you're quarantined for 10 days, but. After a day or two at the base, half the base took off. But I never realized I was 19 years old. When I got back, I was singled out, and uh, my commanding officer, he busted me. But I never realized there was any anti-Semitism until I, years later, I began to realize. And then one of the men in the headquarters came over to my house years later and apologize for singling me out. How about that? Yeah. That's uh, there were only three men on the line. On the line is mechanics where you work on the planes. And uh, I guess they wanted to get me off. I've never forgotten it. But was there anti-Semitism? Yes, there was. Did, I did don't you? know. Oh, I have no amount of animosities against anybody. Anybody who served they're heroes, all of them, whether they sat behind a desk or on the front line or flew on a plane. Murray, how about you? Did you, did you experience any anti-Semitism when you served? Very little, but some, but very little. You think, you think the American uh, military recognizes Israel as a, a strong ally? I do. I do. Murray? Yes, indeed. I think uh, Israel is famous. They've invented a lot of things which uh, the United States uses. That's and the only. That's the only democratic country in the in the Middle East. That's the only one. All your cell phones were invented, were in Israel. Uh, are you taking a picture because he's better looking at me or I'm better looking at him? <laughs> She's better looking than both of us. Oh, Mama. That was a... Why did you leave me? Where? Why did you leave me? You went to Berlin. Flew over. Flew over. First and third mission. I didn't do anything. 26,000 of us got killed just in the 8th Air Force. Just in 8 days? The 8th Air Force. The 8th Air Force. Oh, okay. okay. And 28,000 28, ended up as POWs. Now, I was very lucky. You're right, he was in the men's room. Okay. That was his motivation. <laughs> the best. I had a brother that enlisted. And before the war started, he figured he'd get out in three years. He went all through the South Pacific in five years. He had every hour. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Praise Jesus, amen. Thank you. Just in case, right? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hi, sweetheart. Mwah. The next thing will be on the lips. Oh my God! Oh my God! Can't wait. <laughs> All right. All right. Turn around. Turn around. He's got. He's got it again. Thank Three, you. Two. Wait. Let me. Let me take these off. I see double without them, but. <laughs>